Nice. Um. Wow, there's a few landing sites. Oh, be darn. Skip right across that little spot. Um, where was the landing site? Over here. Thou shalt render no images of false gods, especially ones which are more attractive than mine. Eliminate those idols! Destroy the statue in the nearby square. Oh, okay, so the one over... Or should be one over here? Yes. No. It's usually like right next you to him. Your... So I thought... That one. It's just dark here. Idol threat has been eliminated. <laughs> I amuse my own self. Landing zone activated. Hmm. And am I gonna have enough time? Yeah, I think we'll have enough time. Let's do it. We'll deal with these pumps. Siberian job. Dobry den, tovarish. Hey, man. If I said you had a great body, would you hold it again? I like you, Crypto, but I will neuter you if I have to. Fair enough. Hey, gorgeous. Did you find out any more about those tunnels? What I found is a scientist who works in the organic weapon technology program here. He knows all about the machines in those tunnels. I, uh, persuaded him to talk. So you persuaded the scientist to talk, huh? Uh, did he survive the persuasion? Violence isn't the answer to everything, Crypto. For example, have you noticed the male-to-female ratio in this village? You sly dog. Hey, all I did was sit there. What'd you find out? Is there any easy way to shut those things down? Those pumping machines are actually organic little nuclear reactors. Incredible! Not to mention highly unstable. A nuclear fuel rod placed inside one will overload it and cause a meltdown. And there just happens to be a nuclear plant in town. Ought to be a few fuel rods lying around. Exactly! If you get some fuel rods, Sergei and I will smuggle them into the tunnels. Okay, once more with feeling. You need nuclear fuel rods to disable those gas pumping machines in the tunnels, and you want me to find them for you. Da. And when you found them, Agent Sergei will be waiting to help steal them. Sergeylicious. Okay, Goldie, I'll get your fuel rods for you, but I expect a big reward. Agent Sergei is acquiring some transportation as we speak. He'll meet you when you find them. Hm. You can ask him for your reward. <laughs> well, at least now she's having some fun for it. Fun with it, I meant to say. Uh, let's try to be undercover a little bit here. Supposedly, scientists are conducting many nuclear experiments in town. 
I suppose would explain why I'm keen green lately. Uh oh. I got worried I was gonna get stuck there for a moment. We'll just skip us across this snowy hill. Is uh kind of ironic how empty and void it is. Once you're going black Russian, and just cold. He's not snow. What else is there again? Always, we are running out of fuel rods. They must send them on slowest icebreaker ship in all of Siberia. I knew we should not have used Soviet Express. We absolutely, positively has to be there sometime within the next six months. What kind of stupid slogan is that? Agent Sergei is waiting with a truck not far from here. I know how you feel about him, Crypto, but you must conquer your personal issues and take in those fuel rod containers. The sensors on the source of the are to radiation levels near you, Crypto. Either Gastro's gout is at the end, or there must be a fuel rod nearby. I wonder what destroying the uh, transport vehicles has to do with anything. It's a little bit difficult to skate and pick this up, but not too bad. There it is. Okay. That's too many now. Especially if I'm getting hit so much. Come on, come on, come on. Heal up, heal up. Come on. Alright, hopefully this will hit. Nope. Are you kidding? Man, this thing fires barely any distance. That's getting close range. Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this weapon. That's really disappointing after all the hoops you have to jump through just to get it. All the others we get because of story progression. Seriously enjoying that. Just messing with crypto. All because crypto's jealous. Boarding the saucer. These crates are the work of the devil Dodecalypse. Eradicate them. Oh, okay. Behind my 
Ah, destroy a tank with the tank, and good thing that got done. Alright, is that a mech suit? Yes. Yeah, the KGB are very advanced in this. Like, more than you would think. Kind of, kind of advanced. Really, this is actually helpful. Never really used the anti field that much just because I thought it was a waste of time. But it seems to make some extra. Uh, extra time to do stuff, so that's alright then. But just keep with Sergey, so we'll keep moving. So I'm guessing he's going to the safe house. It seems. Yeah, Sergey should be home free, really. Our cargo has arrived at the safe house. Now, come and see. We need to talk. Whoa, look at that. Finished already. And here I was, just getting started. Of course, I work out. Don't know if you knew that. Thank you, Crypto. Sergei and I can take it from here. I'll bet. Uh, hey, how about I just stick around and help you out myself? You know, since I'm already here, I'm sure Sergei's a busy guy. You know, embassies to bug, dissidents to torture. You're very generous, Crypto. But I think he can find the time. I'll rejoin you once he and I have disabled the machines in the caves. Until then, try and stay out of trouble. wasn't condescending. So, he makes time with my girl while I sit around and twiddle my phalangipods, is that it? Well, homie, don't play that. I made it through a whole nother game all by myself. I don't need anybody's permission to knock some monkey heads. Certainly not some... chicks. Yeah, one thing I find disappointing, though, is how not all the lines or sounds appear in the cutscenes. It's a bit disappointing. Umbrella Factory opens in Tunguska. No one noticed any explosions by the lake. In a grand victory for the proletariat, a new factory opened its doors in Tunguska yesterday. The Umbrella Factory squarely put the means of production in the hands of the workers. The opening ceremony was not at all disturbed by the sound of explosions that did not come from the area near the frozen lake. Loyal members of the Communist Party lined up for their allotment of cake and punch after the ribbon cutting. The cake was not knocked off of the table by a blast wave. Citizens of Tunguska were not concerned by the accurate, accurate? scent of burnt landscape and were definitely not put off their punch. Said one resident, this ceremony is the greatest and most wonderful ceremony I've ever been to in my life. 
If you, your neighbor, or your spouse, and or family members noticed any such explosions or disturbances which are obviously a product of an overreactive imagination and not at all based in reality, please contact Dr. Pam Yadi at your earliest possible convenience. Now that's some heavy propaganda right there. Um, well, I don't have enough time to do some missions, but I could at least probably get a landing zone or two. And I thought I took a wrong turn. Alright, what's this our little statue want? My son, look, agents of destruction, dispatched on their fell mission by I know not whom. Could be Dodecalypse. The bastard's always screwing with me. In any case, bring me one of these KGB agents, so then I might peer into its insidious heart and know the face of its master. Decadent capitalist visit? <laughs> Nice. And let's get this other one. Hopefully. What is going on? Restricted area, nice. No alert though. That's good. Um, can I go in here? Ooh. My sacred inner fluids are still frozen solid. <laughs> Melt the obstruction with my superheated plasma. Warm with the disintegrator. Warmth of a loving God. Accept this landing beacon and magnanimous thanks. Okay, so that's the radiation we'll probably clear out. So, with that. Let's do that last one and then call this call this recording here. Then we'll do a longer recording next time. Which will probably be either uh, tomorrow or the next day. Probably tomorrow, because if I can get this game done, that would be great. Canst not land if thy landing zone is bestrewed with drums, filched with toxic waste. Get rid of those barrels. Oh, I can't just blow them up. Good. Well done. That's it. Kind of quicker way to do it. Landing zone activated. Let me get some ammo right here. And we got the pox market here. Uh, what was one that could use some upgrading? Uh, Sapomatic? Yeah. And the Burrow Beast. Ah, we're short one. Yeah, we got some gene blenders at least. Throw large objects. Stun bystanders. Mind flash, which I don't even use. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, uh, that'll end it for this recording. Hope you guys enjoyed those missions, especially getting to this new area, Tunguska. It's a good sized one with a lot of landing zones. So I guess we'll see probably what uh, Project Solaris is while we're here. But with that. 
See you in the next parts. Take care and have a great day.